Got to wash those jerseys fast, though. Yes, you do. <laughs> Evansville in the purple, Iowa in the home whites, and the Aces control the tip. You talked about pace, Megan. When Evansville's at their best, they are playing with exceptional pace, and it leads to the first bucket of the ball game. Play a lot of players and continue that full court press throughout the entirety of the game. Kate Martin gets the first bucket to go for Iowa on the floater. Players don't want to practice anymore. Hey, we are in the middle of the season. You just want to scout and play games. Clark creating space, and the step back rattles in. Now one point away. Evansville, of course, did play last night, but they've had a couple of games canceled this year. And it just worked with their schedule because they were in Iowa already as Kate Martin knocks down her second bucket. Second opportunity, no. Fight going for a third, and it's off the back end. And now a home run pass up ahead to Marshall, and she lays it in. We talk so much about Caitlin Clark's ability to score, but her ability to facilitate is really what makes her such an elite point guard. They've made their last three buckets. Meanwhile, Evansville on a 250 scoring drought. Janiah Davis ends that quickly. Well, it's so difficult when you have so many pieces that are consistently missing as Clark pulls it. And there it is. Over a thousand career points in just 40 games. New records to break. Caitlin Clark doing just that. The fastest player to reach a thousand points. Plays the game the right way and is somebody that a lot of young girls are looking up to and someone who's so good for the future of our game. Already has two triple doubles. As she gets to the cup and draws the foul and a free throw coming for Caitlin Clark player you have to be able to score at all three levels Clark doing just that and she plays with contact continually she was like a rebound or two away in a couple of games from more triple doubles Lisa Bluter has just gushed over Caitlin Clark as you might expect and has really just been an excellent player not only for Iowa but for the Big Ten zips it down to Addison O'Grady with the shot clock expiring beautiful court vision there from Caitlin Clark. And this is a big opportunity for a player like freshman Addison O'Grady to get some key minutes in before Big Ten play starts with the absence of Sonata. You see the three go down for Evansville. Did by O'Grady. Mike keeps it alive with a fresh shot clock. And Maya Clark getting to the cup. The St. Louis University train. And Tommy Taiwo pulling it back out. And lets the three-pointer fly. What you know about the identity of this team, they've always been able to knock it down at a high clip, and multiple players can hit from three. It's just a matter of time before shots fall. There's a three from Maya Clark. Returned all five starters from a season ago, so the core is back. It's just a matter of getting consistent time together on the floor this year. Caitlin Clark making the tough shots look easy. Her assist-to-turnover ratio this year, phenomenal. She was turning the ball over a lot last year as a freshman in an area she's really been able to clean up going into this year. And how about that? Just a team that, or excuse me, a woman that just... To dedicate your life as Clark gets the bucket to go. A legend in the state of Iowa, but really throughout college athletics for all she has done for women's sports, not just basketball and field hockey, but everything else. As Addison O'Grady twists. We're on the same page here. Maybe we, maybe we ought to bring that to Carver Hawkeye. Maybe, maybe we should just get a Carver code next time we're there. Uh, somebody needs to get Caitlin Clark. Hey, you know what? I think she's just happy to be out there playing again. This is a great tune-up for Iowa as you see O'Grady get that little law pass in the paint. This is a team we've talked about it throughout this game that just has not been able to establish any sort of rhythm and a great step through by Ellie Morgan. Well, I thought it was interesting, her answer to you when you asked, you know, what's going on with the three-point shooting? And she said, Megan, I wish I could tell you. I simply don't have an answer for it, but I do believe it'll start to come. But she just plays with a joy that is so fun to watch and infectious on this team. That three goes down for Kylie Firebach. Double team comes in the post, and it scoots up and in for Ediger. Patient, she turned into a bit of a double team, then able to recompose herself, make the opposite counter move for the finish. Ooh. Deep three. And 
Coach Jerry Wells saying we want to have this be a tournament style game for us where you don't have a ton of time in between games. Really good experience that can hopefully benefit Evansville in the long run. Davis down to fight. That's a good one two combination. 8 0 run for the Aces. Of course, Iowa without Sinano and Warnock this afternoon. Iowa down a couple of starters. As Abby fights. Half against an Evansville team that is less than 24 hours removed from their last game. Shot clock is late again. Marshall with the reverse off the window. Hump fake and take the ball on the dribble. Good finish for Marshall. She has seven points along with three rebounds. Deep two. But take it on the ground and get to the basket. Now Clark in the post. Defended by Janaya Davis. And Clark goes right over the top. She was a big KD fan growing up. Same with Maya Moore on the women's side. Nice shot there from Maya Clark, high off the window. Who's been the starting point guard for the last three seasons. That one's good from Kate Mark. Season progresses. Tywo tipping it into the hands of O'Grady, and the second chance opportunity goes down. One of the players benefiting from some Iowa players out today as Caitlin Clark has benefited from incredible moves all throughout her career. We're closing the first half on a four minute scoring drought. Hawkeyes looking good to start the second half. Now Clark tries a three from the other side. No. O'Grady, yes. That being said, the post players and the post presence for Iowa is massive because they're able to do things like that, open up passing lanes. Two and a half minutes. Okay. Morgan knocks down a much needed jumper. First field goal in the last six trips down the floor. What do you think about that last three point shot? Lisa Bluter says she feels like occasionally they'll take a bad one, but for the most part, the looks have been good. So she wants them to just keep shooting the ball just like that. They are now four of 20 from distance in this game, but have managed to build big leads because they've gotten out in space, they've gotten to the basket, and they've scored in transition. That didn't make some of the opposing parents too happy. <laughs> I would imagine not. Well, she has brothers. Her older brother is a football player for Iowa State. Marketing the steal and the run out lay in. I was beating up on everybody, so they put me in the boys' league, and I still won. And Clark knocks down a triple. Future basketball players, athletes like Caitlin Clark can come in and have confidence as a woman to compete at this level, but it's more than just a game. It's a big life picture as well. Tyro drills a three from the top of the key. That's pretty amazing because she's accomplished a lot. Spent 48 years in the Iowa community and higher. First double double of her career, a career high in points and rebounds. And Ediger knocks down the baseline jumper. We haven't even seen what this Iowa team can necessarily do. Still so much time left in the season. Clark with two seconds. Clark with one. And did she get it off? Yes, indeed, at the buzzer. From Oregon coming in for uh, Nebraska, and she's just done so many different things. A lot of players, McKenna Marisa for Penn State, who's already had a triple-double this season. Matchup the other day, so just a lot of really good talent across the league. Excited to get it started, and look at the and one situation coming in hot for Evansville's Ellie Morgan. What a great story, though. Didn't start a game in her Michigan career until this season, coming off another double-double against Ohio State. And I think there's something to be said as Caitlin Clark gets the bucket to go. Because in our day and age with social media, everything's blowing up. Players aren't as patient anymore because we live in an instant gratification system. Three goes for Abby Fight. Very familiar with the Big Ten. And she played for former Michigan head coach Sue Guevara, who was a legend in the women's game. Really cool story and just loves the game of basketball in general, has now translated over to the coaching side of it. Robin Sherwells told us that is her goal for Evansville. When her time is said and done, she wants to be able to look back 
and Iowa and Drake have always had good battles over the years. Now, their game this year got canceled due to health and safety protocols as Clark buries another five rebounds and just one turnover. Now she gets the steal, finishes at the cup. That's 40 for Clark, who earlier today became the fastest woman in Big Ten history. Someone that gives her teammates confidence. And you mentioned understanding your role. Great teams have players that understand what their role is. Inside, Addison O'Grady, who already has a double-double. Certainly, Iowa will have plenty of opportunities to pick up big wins throughout the Big Ten Conference League. Handful of teams still ranked in the top 25. So if you get two full complements of players in that game, well, that should be some really fun basketball. Another player that doesn't get talked about enough on this Iowa team is McKenna Warnoff. with the expectations around this Iowa program this year. The loss to IUPUI, who is actually a really good really team, good, by the yeah, way. Really good team. But just from the outside looking in, maybe some people wondering, wait a minute. A little more normal seed than what we had to deal with last year, you know, as a conference, as as a league overall. But this is a team that has not been afforded the ability. I mean, she's just playing with everyone now. It was close at times in the first half. Credit Evansville coming in here to Iowa City and playing less than 24 hours after their game yesterday against Drake. But they were just no match on a historic day.